I didn't even bring up the Pittsburgh Steelers to you. Fascinating as they are. Under win total. Gonna... We'll discuss that later. 17 game schedule. You're saying under, under. for the first time yeah. in Tomlin's career. Correct. Has Does to happen that mean that's great? I agree. They are very hip on what they have built. You know, they're what the, they're very pleased with where they are right now. It feels to me. I know that they deep down understand that they don't have the long-term answer at QB, but I think they can. They believe that they can Jacksonville Jaguars 2018 this thing or 17, whichever year that was. Okay. I think cool. they can hide the QB. I think their goal is we're going to dominate you defensively, right. and they are now in fact wired to do that. They thought they could do that, but they now are all the way there to dominate you defensively. And maybe they should be able to run the ball. In 2024, the winning way to win games is to dominate you defensively and hide your quarterback. That that's a that's a winning strategy. Well, that's my that was my question for you. What okay, I'm not gonna get into it then with you, except to ask you this. If that happens, is Tomlin still there in 25 or do they go after Ben Johnson? I think it would be silly to fire Tomlin after one season he's under 20. I mean, the problem is is just the quarterback. You haven't found a big Ben replacement. I mean, that, that's the problem with a lot of teams have, right? When the quarterback leaves is you haven't found that the next person. So it's a matter of, look, we've talked about this on text a lot. The Steelers have to, and maybe if they finish under 500, they sort of just rip the bandit off and say, we need to find a quarterback. We have to trade up and get that quarterback. That's all, but but the idea, okay, right. But two and 15 doesn't have to happen. All you have to do is trade up. You just give up your assets for the incoming drafts. That's it. That's how you do it. It's, well, it's either or, right? It's either you go two, it's either you go, Two and fifteen, which they're too they're too good to do that, or just trade up. But you have to acknowledge, Dave, you're in this position. They refuse to acknowledge that. They want to continue to be this nine and eight team and ten and seven team, which is their team is not winning a Super Bowl as constructed. And to me, the Steelers are an organization that should always strive to win a Super Bowl. I think every year, right, with Roethlisberger's last season on, I think they keep thinking they're a tick better that i think the tomlin philosophy is like we can make some hay and now this year there seems to have been some pressure like enough's enough we love making the playoffs that's the standard at least to get into the mix but you got to start winning some games too and they leaned on tomlin to some degree and i think they think that this team is ready to win some playoff games but they thought last year's team was ready to win some playoff games too so um that's murky stuff 